What's up everyone, Dr. Eric Jackson here. I'm very excited to be on campus here at North Central College. I'll be delivering uh, the, I believe, fourth year in a row, uh, my modern comprehensive summary of sports dentistry to the athletic training students. Uh, it's always a great time. We do it in a very small setting, uh, not a big lecture hall, so it's very uh, conducive to question and answer and interaction, uh, which is something that I really love. Um, we'll be talking about the history of sports dentistry as well as uh, where things are going in the future and, and really everything in between. Um, touching on uh, fabrication of mouth guards. Remember, these are athletic trainers. They're not dental students. And so they don't have the intimate knowledge of mouth guard fabrication, why we'd use certain techniques, uh, the science behind them and the research behind them, but they'll be the ones that are going to be recommending it and implementing it directly to the athletes and then working with the team dentist to help fabricate them. It's all part of the, the team dentistry, uh, the, the team medicine type approach to sports dentistry. Um, no longer are we kind of just individuals. Uh, we're working as, as a group. Uh, we'll be talking about concussion protocols and, and kind of the burgeoning and continuous research in that field. Uh, regarding sports concussions and uh, the like. In addition, we'll be able just to kind of talk about return to play. Return to play is a very important concept that uh, everyone from peewee football up, up to the pros needs to understand. Um, for example, what should the athletic trainer recommend when one of their st um, student athletes or professional athletes avulses a tooth or you know, avulse meaning knocked out, knocks out an entire tooth. Is that something that the person must be seen uh, by a dentist for immediately? Or can that person wait until tomorrow or wait until Monday morning when the dentist opens to take care of? Likewise, is that um, is an injury, you know, a small chip in the front tooth, in the enamel? Is that something that uh, must be taken care of immediately by a dentist? Or could that person wait until they get back to their hometown, their home field, and they can see their home dentist to take care of it? Uh, we'll be, and everything in between. You know, there's a lot of different types of dental um, injuries that happen on a playing field. Um, we'll be going through each of them and kind of discussing how I, the dentist, would fix them. I like talking to them about it. I know, like I said earlier, they're not dental students, but it's important to be cross-trained in different aspects of medicine. Um, I know just a touch about athletic training, and I want them to know just a touch about dentistry and then rely on the actual athletic, athletic trainer to do the real work, just like they would rely on me to do the real work as far as dentistry. So it's going to be a great day. Uh, I'll see if I can post some pictures and some videos um, from the actual lecture and uh, give you a little recap. But it's cold outside. Going inside, i got to set up, the, uh, set up the projector. So talk to you later. Bye-bye. Got back to the office wanted to jump on and say that was a ton of fun thank you so much especially thank you to dr kendall selsky for having me come back uh you run a wonderful program over there um thank you to the students for letting me come speak to you and go north central uh football team if for those of you that aren't in the know uh north central is making a historic run uh they knocked off mount union last week and they are up against delaware valley university uh, this upcoming Saturday. Um, just they're tearing it up, making big headlines. So go North Central. You've got some wonderful athletic trainers on your sidelines, wonderful athletic training students there right along there. They're teachers. 
and I know you're going to do great. Best of luck, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.